On the 1st of November, millions around the world will no longer have access to WhatsApp. The Facebook-owned messenger app that boasts around 2 billion users has announced a list of 43 phones it will no longer support. Notably, it includes the iPhone 6S. Though released in 2015, it remains powerful enough to receive Apple's latest operating system later this month. Various models of Samsung, LG and Huawei and others are also included. Are we essentially being forced to upgrade to newer phones? Well, let's find out from Nafisa Akarbo, who is a technology journalist. She helps us understand what this all means. Nafisa, thank you so much for joining us. WhatsApp regularly uh, phases out older devices, but why, why does that happen when uh, the, the app still works on the phones perfectly fine? So uh, WhatsApp is continuously trying to bring out new features as technology evolves. They want to push out uh, new trends. But as a result of this, you can't keep pushing new technology on the older hardware. Sometimes the minimum requirements are not met. So with this major announcement, it's Android 4.04 and iOS uh, 9 upwards. So this is about the hardware of the phone and not the software because uh, my, my iPhone 6S, I could still update to the latest operating system, but there might be something wrong with my hardware. Yes, so they're not supporting that minimum requirement of your hardware. So when they're pushing out updates, typically I assume on the 1st of November when the update rolls out, you're going to be opening WhatsApp, you're going to get a prompt to say, update the app before you can use it. And if your phone is older, you probably won't be able to run the update. Therefore, you won't be able to use WhatsApp. When they say no longer supported, do they mean that uh, the, the users just won't be getting the updates? Or, or what exactly is going to happen on the 1st of November? Yeah, um, it appears that it should rather when you, when you try to open the app and you will see that it's, your phone is not supported because typically when these updates are rolled out, you're forced to run the updates. So that's not going to happen if you, if you don't have the minimum requirements. Now, there, there are many conspiracy theorists out there, and some believe that we're being forced to get new phones. Is that the case? No, we all know that um, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, and there's absolutely no way they're doing this for Apple to make more sales or for Samsung to make more sales. It's literally a point of your hardware might be too old. Microsoft does the same thing with Windows updates. At some point, it's no longer feasible to support older models of technology. Uh, is this, uh, is this uh, update that, app, that uh, WhatsApp is going to bring on board, is this connected in any way to them trying to secure the app and make, uh, make it more private with all the privacy concerns that they've had in the past? Well, the app is end-to-end -end encrypted, so technically what's on your device shouldn't be available on any other device. But yeah, it, for me, I think it's more a minimum requirements on a phone, whether you have enough RAM or whatever the case may be. All right. Thank you so much for explaining that for us. We appreciate your time. Technology journalist Nafisa Akabor.